What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I made a video. And before I start this video, the coronavirus thing has been pretty crazy even down here in San Diego. A lot of stores, restaurants are shut down. You can only go through drive through and luckily I'm actually one of the few people that can still work since I do work at a dealer and we're essential for people to come get their cars fixed and go to the doctor and all that. So we are a essential place and that's why I am still working, which is good because you know, so getting paid and all that compared to other people that aren't working stay safe out there uh stay home you know kick it with your families and <laughs> stay six feet away from your friends um yeah I don't, I don't know man i feel like the u.s is overreacting it's hard to say just stay safe out there don't really know how much more to talk about this coronavirus stuff because it's all over the internet and everything but anyways if you guys have been following my instagram I've been posting a lot on my car, the update with the fenders. Now, I did say that my fenders were three months out. They're actually still a month, I think a month and a half out till, or the end of April is when I received my fenders. But some dude on Instagram was actually selling a set of these fenders that I actually ordered. And I was just like, dude, let me just go buy them, pick them up, get them painted, mock them up, make the fit on the car and turn everything. And now I actually have the fenders on my car. Um, and there it is. Now, you guys could kind of see that, uh, you kind of see that the shade is off. So I had my friend use my gas cap or gas lid to match this fender. And I think since the gas uh, lid is too small, you can't really see in all types of lighting. So these fenders are actually going back to my friend that painted them, but I'm gonna let him use my OEM fenders that got painted with the whole car at once to use as a reference because um, a lot of people on your Instagram are saying, oh yeah, the shade's really bad. Not gonna lie, it's, it's really off and you know, it depends on the lighting, but also he's the one that actually matched my front bumper and my rear bumper. And he got down on these bumpers. Like they match perfectly it's because what he did was when he painted my bumpers he used my old sir bumpers as a paint reference it was a bigger portion to use the color match so these are gonna go back and they're gonna you know get matched with my old fenders so don't worry about the shade that's gonna get fixed uh i don't know when you could do it because of that coronavirus stuff just kind of put stuff back and the eye balcony that i was gonna bring this car to it got postponed too it's gonna get push back further, which that's one reason why I went to go grab these fenders from the dude that was selling them so I could get them ahead of time and get it all ready for Eibach. And to get you guys up to speed, these fenders, they did not fit good. They actually needed a lot of modifications. So one is headlight, of course, but I try to, I match the gaps on both sides. And um, yeah, they bolted to the factory holes, which is perfect. These fenders, they don't come pre-drilled or anything. And to answer everybody's questions on what fenders these are, these are TF Works, so Toge Factory Fenders. You can find them on their website. There's a weight on them. And Joey Lee from Sticky Dojo, you guys all know him. He posted up a post on where these fenders originate from and all that stuff. So you could check out his post. And these were not easy to make uh, fit 17 by nines. Um, there is a lot of modifications that you need to do to make these fenders work and I bought these as a pair to uh, use as a uh, pretty much like a template to know what size spec wheels I can use. So these are 17 by 9 fit plus 15 and I haven't made like a video of explaining you know like um, what's been doing or you know how I got these fenders to work and turn and everything. So these are GTR spec reg masters that I actually just picked up from uh, a, what is it? An Instagram account off of a, uh, what's it called? On Instagram. And these are GTR spec reg masters. I got these shipped from Japan. It was pretty fast, like four or five days through FedEx. And what makes these GTR spec reg masters is they are 17 by nine plus 18 and most people that buy 17 inch Regmasters, they don't understand that there's two types. So you got Regmaster Evos, which are these, and you got the Regmaster Marquis Promatas. 
Those are the ones that you guys see with center caps. The reg masters, they don't have center caps. Marcus Pramadas. Marcus Pramadas have center caps, which protrude out though. So on the center hubs on Marcus Pramadas, they stick out and there's a cap. And then since these are actually Rega Master Evos, it's all flat like regular Regas. So they just look like these. They're all flat. And I like these a lot more because the center bore, the hub just looks so much better than, you know, just giant things sticking out on the MPs. It is hard finding a pair of these because I only bought a pair since I'm not throwing the 17s on the rear. We're keeping this pretty much double staggered. So 17 by 9 plus 18, 16 by 7, 35. So the rear has a 215.45, the front has a 235.40. Uh, same tires as these right here. And on this side, I kept the T37s on so it could, uh, so you guys could kind of see what it looked like on the T37s. And this car can turn. Uh, what people don't see on my Instagram post is these fenders are pretty damn wide which allows me to have the car uh, the same height. I did not raise the car and it allows me to turn because look, you guys see that? The wheel is not completely flush with the fender. If the wheel was completely flush with the fender, there's no way I could turn. But there is a slight gap which allows me to turn. And from up top or from back here, you guys can kind of see And, yeah, doing this type of setup, you do have to sacrifice a lot of stuff, uh, I'll admit. Um, you have to trim the headlight tab. There's a headlight tab that goes back here. That's cut off. Um, you do have to trim the bumper too. But everything's all mounted. I, uh, yeah, I made it all work. And I've driven the car on the T's. I just got these back from, um, well, I was at work today, so I got the tires mounted today. Picked up another pair of 235 40s, and the car turned. I'll probably make a separate video on getting into detail on how to make these work, because I do have to take the wheel off. But today, I'm trying to get this video out, update video, because a lot of you guys have been asking for videos of seeing this setup. And let me show you a video, or let me show you guys that this car can actually turn. A lot of people assume that this thing cannot turn and can't drive. I've driven this car, done, bus, done full U-turns, and dude, it's solid. So, oh, we gotta open this box up. So, here we go, guys. Gotta put my key in. So. Alright, so. This right here is full lock. Now, the cool thing about running these specs, a lot of people often use 17 by 9 plus 22, but on these C37s, on these C37s, 17 by 9 plus 15, 17 by 9 plus 18, so the only difference is three millimeters. But since the offset is so much slower, it doesn't come in contact with the inner fender wall. So it does not hit back there or even right back here. So there's perfect clearance, it does not rub. A lot of people are like, hey, dude, you're on rug, you won't be able to turn. Dude, this setup is perfect. Yeah, and then, I don't know how to explain it, but it works. And there is clearance right here. It does not hit. Now, on the other side, now, these wheels are uh, 15 offsets, three millimeters, but you can see that, look, there is a little bit of clearance, but as you're driving, this thing does not hit at all. This is perfect. And, Yep. So that's that. Yes. I think after I, I think when I posted up this um, setup or with the fenders, the wheels and everything, it caused a lot of inner commotion, so social media commotion. It's kind of cool that this actually kind of blew up the car a little bit more. And it just made people um, talk a lot about the setup, about the car, 
which is cool because you know it's like the old forum days back in the day when you do something people are like well, you know a lot of internet warriors is typing away or keyboard warriors typing away talking about the setup but honestly i made it work because there were a lot of people that were doubting me hey i can't make this you cannot make this thing work you cannot turn you can't drive this thing that low and dude anything is possible if you put your mind to it you know it's i would say making these fenders fit and being able to turn and drive and everything is not something you know like you've just gone to the car scene you just you know if you you know, first install your coilovers doing this setup is not as easy you have to be mess tinkering cars and kind of like know how everything works around and all that and figure out what you what needs to be done to make this setup work or just in general so it's not like a average guy can just make these work i mean i'm technically an average you know guy that just works on cars and just made it work so yeah i'm talking a lot but yeah also this bumper they had to get trimmed you can kind of see right here there's barely any clearance but this bumper had to get trimmed and this since this fender is a lot wired it does kind of stick out so i mean most people online what they do is they run a piece but um a lot of guys aren't this low with these fenders i've seen a lot of cars with these fenders and they're not sitting as low especially on 17s so this actually kind of was um, a little bit of work it took a little bit of work to get the setup to work but after you know messing with mainly this side this was the main side that i i learned everything off i got it to work so yeah and i gotta say these gt spec ringmasters look so damn good looks way better than the te's uh i still have tires in these so what i'm gonna do is actually try to look for another pair or like a less staggered um t37 bronze and throw it on my daily because right now my daily is on mag blue t's so i think with these in the front especially the concave it's gonna look so good but okay now let's get going to this box right here all right this i have been waiting on for um a while now because uh they're sold out a lot of people have been buying these and this is actually for my brother's car which hopefully tomorrow if it's not raining we'll install in his car and make a video of it because it has been raining for like the past two weeks which is so weird in san diego once you guys probably know what this is we removed his older one and uh got a new one yep there we go this is from hybrid racing this is the new uh shifter set up for my brother's car since we are putting in a rsx shifter so we did have to buy a rsx shift selector um and we still have to install that onto the transmission so we'll make that work again huge shout out to my boys over at hybrid racing especially david for always helping us out with our projects one is these are shifter cables for the rsx shifter the old cables we had were for the no cut so we couldn't use them they're different lengths and this is gonna be the new one you guys already know what a shifter cable looks like this is what i want to open but we're gonna open that last because that is like that is the coolest thing out of, out of everything in the box this is going to be the base the shifter base wow that's really nice oh my god there's a helicopter going by oh cool so the cool thing is this thing actually has a rubber pad so it doesn't vibrate on the original tunnel where your b-series shifter boot goes super super nice piece and all the hardware is in here so we'll uh put this back in now coolest thing it's gonna be this Yes. I'm guessing this is the little rod. Well, we want to see this. Woo. Now that is a nice piece. So this is the R6 V3 shifter, super nice. A lot of people have been uh, installing these and finally it's, the, it's our time to install 
hit on my brother's car and everything's all integrated so the spring and everything so super nice now this is a uh, red they have black also but i got red because my brother's valve cover is red and um his horn button is red so this kind of adds a little bit of you know color to the interior and uh it just is super super nice and i think uh this is gonna be the top portion oh shoot the top portion it's just gonna go like well it's too tight but yep you guys get the point that's gonna go my brother's car hopefully tomorrow if it's not raining because his car has no shit around so it's you know i can't really drive it massive shout out to hybrid racing and the team over there so huge shout out to you guys and uh yeah cannot wait to install that and throw those on my uh my t-sex I think that's the end with this video. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna throw the other Regamaster on the passenger side. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Quick update video. Gotta send these fenders back out. I kinda had to make this video before I send them back out because this is gonna have no fenders again. And hope you guys like the new setup. It is, you know, not everybody's cup of tea, but I gotta admit, I actually dig it a lot. Um, and I like these fenders because they have that OEM body line. There's no vent. It uses, oh, I still have to put in the thin side molding right here. So I gotta drill two holes. And the only difference is, of course, this big ass arch. But it has that, it retains that OEM body line, which I like. And, yep, no vents, nothing. So don't sell the guys, just keep building. Stay tuned for the shifter install. And let me take this thing out for a drive if it's not raining. Peace. There he goes, my car, sold. Look, I'm not even driving it, Hobby's driving it. And yes, the car drives. Damn, damn, fuck that fender though. Don't worry, it's gonna get fixed.